Well, what I think the Premier needs to understand is that there are hundreds of thousands of Ontarians who no longer have a job. So for the Premier to say, oh, the answer is just get out there and go shopping. and being responsible and understanding what needs to be done to be as safe as possible or this is strictly discrimination on the part of this government towards young people. Nobody even knows when or if it's going to be implemented but what we do know is that's not a substitute for, for child care for all children of all ages in this province. We can break their haughty power gain our freedom when we learn that this union makes us strong! Where people who bought homes will have incredible difficulty selling them because people will ask, where will the water come from? Will you go back to the Act and revise it so that the water supply is protected? We're simply asking for what is and should be a human right and already is a human right in the European Union. At the end of the day, this is something that will improve the health of youth in Ontario and this is something that, that we have to act on and we have to act upon it now. And they're reaching every year into the pockets of students to pay more and more for their education. Minister, your record is a matter of shame, not pride. The only number that matters is that we are number 10 in this country. Students and their parents need help now more than ever. The people that voted for her, she's not in touch with our province. This minister should resign immediately. tour of the province. We're going to cities to meet other grandparents and we're going to keep up the pressure. Never say die.